Well, when you get to New York and now you're not under your mother's supervision, well, your parents' supervision at this point, do you start to wild out? I mean, no, here you are, never, 18 never, years no, old. No, there was no wild out. We'll get to the wild out days. That wasn't wilding out. My parent, my mom was in New York. She was still there. Ah, so she's still okay. working for GM, remember? So she did that for a couple of years. So she ran this plant in Terrytown. We lived in Hastings on the Hudson. So they got her this nice, really nice condo that was on the Hudson River. And we just kind of stayed there and I would go to the city. It took like probably 45 minutes to get to the city. And it, I mean, it wasn't, I didn't see anything bad too much in New York. I went to go, we went to go pick up Mary one time and she lived in Yonkers. That was, that was different. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. That was like, you know, whoa, I ain't never seen this before, you know, cause we went to the projects and it was, we went, we went and did that. But, um, you know, other than that, New York was pretty, you know, it was still amazing. I, you know, you get to the other stuff when I, when I go to California. Uh, okay. Well, but 1994, you actually worked on Brandy's first album. Say again? Well, by 1994, 94, yes. you worked on So 94, that album was released. Album. So in 93, we did uh-huh, Brandy's okay. first album. We worked on it. Uh, so you want to talk about that? Well, yeah. I mean, well, one of the songs, uh, Love Is On My Side, Robin Thicke co-wrote it, and he was only yeah. 16 at the time. So let's, let's go to that. So Alan Thicke um, actually hired me to work on some jingles with him for television stuff. So I was working with Alan Thicke. And I went over his house one day and he asked me to meet his son and we sit at the piano and I played the piano and we wrote Love is on my side. He was 16 years old. He's so he was so talented. Um, I'm actually I, I believe that I'm Robin Thicke's first placement. So that's the first time he placed the song was on Brandy's first album, which I think sold five million albums to date or it's five or six, whatever it's at. I'm not sure. Um, right. Was that your first big hit? Brandy's yes, first album? Yes, absolutely. But it wasn't so it was my first it's my first platinum plaques and gold plaques and all of that. But as far as hit, I didn't have the singles on that album. I had an album cut um, and, I, and I'll give you this. I'll give you a little bit of the story. A guy named Keith Crouch, who I admire, still a good. He's my brother today. Keith Crouch came in at the end. We worked on that album for a year. Sylvia um, Roan had me and Daryl. Jun- no, not Daryl Jones. Daryl Williams at the time who was managing Keith Crouch. Keith wasn't even on the project at first. And um, Daryl, we worked on the album and Daryl had Keith come in at the end and he did I Want to Be Down. And then he did all the singles. He just and all the guys who worked on it, like something for the people. My brother Sauce from something for the people and Rashad. And um, we all worked on this project in our from on a, in this apartment building right off of Lancashire Boulevard in Atsika. I don't know if you know that street. And I lived yep. in Woodland Hills, but they lived in North Hollywood. So I would go to North Hollywood to go to their studio to work. I had a studio at my place, but we all kind of worked on the first Randy record together. So we had to do demos first. So we did in the back then you just you had to do a demo and then you actually went into a big recording studio to record. It was different. Everything was on tape still in 93. There was no Pro Tools. So I did the demo of Love is on my side. And um, do you remember the Northridge earthquake? Yeah. I'm working on Love is on my side and the Northridge earthquake happened. That'll give you a real timeline of um, how this how this record was made. And I was at a I was at my buddy Dave Stewart's house in Woodland Hills. And I remember Randy Jackson from the Jacksons. He was um, he was there and I played them the record. And he said, who's this? Because Robin was singing it at first. And Robin sounded like Brian McKnight then a little bit. So I remember Randy saying, he called him, you know, Brian McWhite. <laughs> you know, it was really funny because he was young and he was cool and he could really sing, you know. And um, then the earthquake happened. And, um, you know, that was crazy. That was my first earthquake ever, you know. And the, I, the, the whole world was shaking. You know, I'm like... I think I'm 23 at that time, 23 years old. The whole world is shaking. And, um, you know, then we and then we went on to that record went on to be very successful. So um, and, and, and I'll get back to Keith Crouch when you ask about Babyface, because there's a whole story that lines up with that. 